Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance which I to and I'm going to be jumping in and I'm going to be doing another tainted character this time around. You might see that my streak is a little bad. I've been uh, messing around over on um, Tainted Jacob trying to do Greedia mode just because I thought it was going to take forever to do it on video. Don't worry, no successes yet. We'll get back to it. Either way, I really want to play a Tainted character and I really want to play a Tainted Keeper. We need to do Boss Rush and Hush which seem kind of difficult as this guy but this guy is probably my favorite slash one of my favorite tainted characters i think he's really fun got a really unique mechanic that makes him quite different and is weirdly like he's challenging in a very different way to how the keeper normally is like I i'm gonna say i think they've done a very very good job of balancing the uh the idea of having two hp here um you got to try and get your money, but you, most most enemies are going to drop coins and be able to give you some back. But things like Boss Rush and Hush are going to be a lot harder because there's not as many things dropping money. As well as the fact, I think we've got a super tinted rock there, by the way. Um, as well as the fact that, obviously, um, you're going to have a harder time just staying alive and dodging stuff. Um, and trying to get in there to get any coins that do drop. So, it's, a, it's an interesting little sort of thing there. With this guy. Um, was it a super tinted rock that I saw? No. I thought I did somewhere. Probably not. But yeah. Better shops. So item rooms I don't really care about. In fact. I might even leave item rooms alone. And try and get planetariums. I was going to do that this floor. But I kind of forgot. <laughs> um, but we start out. Notched axe is really good. Um, I'm, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to just take the notch stacks. I don't know. Can we? We can't destroy these guys, but I will bomb them both because they could both drop us a nickel. There we go. Um, and I'm going to take the tier rate up as well. Uh, I know this means that we probably won't be able to afford our boss item, but yeah, notch stacks is going to be super, super valuable for us. Really? Do you have to drop a fire there? Um, and one great thing as well is golden pennies can exist for us, um, which is pretty awesome. We can get golden pennies through, um, open that up through enemies just dropping them. I don't know how they work, like, in terms of collecting them, but good stuff. It's good stuff. Um, we're going to open up all of this. Can't recharge this. I've got a death card or a moon card. Let's just use the moon card, go to our other secret room, and there's our first golden penny. So we definitely will be able to afford our uh, boss item now. I'm a bit torn between Deal the Devils and Angels. I think Deal the Devils are better as this keeper because... Deal with the angels, you can um, you can only buy one, but deal with the devils, you can buy multiple. So, obviously, of course, because it's no longer got the health associated cost, it's a little more viable. Of course, we won't be able to farm this guy for coins. Um, unfortunately, the flies do stop dropping stuff after a little bit, so it's not like we can mill him for a ton of money. I would very much like that nickel. Yep. Yeah. I kind of I kind of knew that I was gonna lose that then, but. I'm at the same time pretty okay with it. I'm going to take this. It could be a health down, um, but in fair, instead it was just fantastic. That was straight up brilliant. So we are going boss rush, so we do want to go a bit quick here. And do you know what? I am going to start leaving item rooms. I'm going to just not open them because while they could be worth it, well, they're so much more likely that we'll get something worthwhile from our shop. Okay, good. That was a bit close there. A little bit too close for comfort. See if we can open up any secret rooms here. This is the great thing about the notched axe. It's just so convenient for finding secret rooms. So damn good. But yeah, fire rate, shot speed, damage from that um, experimental treatment with no health down. Which I'm not actually sure if you can get a health down with this guy. I really don't know. Um, but I do, I'd imagine so. I'd imagine so. But yeah, we're going to try and find all of our secret rooms. Just because I, I actually used the, the axe there. Oh, I missed out on one of those nickels. I got one though. I got one. Um... Yeah, we can actually use it for damage as well. I kind of forgot about that. You can, like, pick it up and put it away whenever you want and use it to hit enemies. And it's actually pretty damn effective. But I do believe that it uses up the same cost as it would do for any rock or secret room, which is quite a lot. You don't get too many swings of this thing, so you do have to be careful. I grab that. Got our first shop. This is a good shop. I'm definitely going to buy that. That's very, very good for us. Um, more fire rate and splitting shot seems really, really good. The only thing that's bad about it is it's going to be it's going to be killing enemies that are kind of all over the place, which is actually going to make it a little bit harder for us to collect all of the money that's dropping, which is a bit of a shame. But mostly it's okay. Mostly I don't care. Uh, right, so we're looking for the second secret room now. 
There's a golden penny. So as you can see, now that we, now that you've picked up the golden penny, it doesn't fade away anymore. So once you've picked it up once, it no longer fades away. So getting having golden pennies unlocked as this guy is fantastic. Because you're probably going to see three or four over the course of your run, maybe more. And of course, golden pennies are... Uh, really really strong in the in the, the fact that sometimes yeah you're only gonna get a good like two or three coins but other times you're gonna get situations like this and the one thing i'm worried about is making boss rush of course um you are using a lot of your time to collect everything there there's our second secret room i don't really care about getting anything from that but in situations like that i can get rid of all of these rocks just to get them out of the way uh, let's go and do our boss. And it recharges every floor as well. But yeah, I'm just going to get rid of all these rocks. But yeah, Cricket's body here. Very happy with it. There is some other stuff in that shop that are pretty good. But I'm just going to save my money from now on. I can't believe that hit me. I like bashed him all over the place. Um, fire rate up. I'm not going to take it yet because I'm going to go into my deal with the devil first. Um, I don't think Horror of Babylon works for us, but I'm going to take it anyways. Yeah, I'm going to say I was I was doubtful that it would work. But anyways, let's go down. Because blue cap's nice, but we've already got very high fire rate. I don't need it. A little bit of a shame that it doesn't work. But I kind of expected that. Get away. That bomb was a bit scary. Okay, so I'm not really bothered about getting the money on this room. If we get it, we get it. If we don't, we don't. And that's kind of going to be my logic for playing this character just generally in like every situation. If we get the money, great. But I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna be too anal about getting it. The only time that I really want to get over is golden pennies and dimes. Those situations you really want to be making sure you get the money. So we're not going item rooms. Shop uh, I saw is really good here. I definitely want that. Um, also squeezy. I'll probably take squeezy as well. Uh, so I saw is really good. Firing more tears, especially with um, especially with good old Cricket's body. It's going to be really, really nice. Okay, careful of these dudes because of course there you go. Got that nickel. Of course they're going to be firing shots when they die. But I do, I absolutely love this character. This character is so fun. So so fun. We just got to get in there. Got to get in there and try and get what we can. I'm, I'm not really using Little Brim to the most effective usage of him at the minute, but that's okay. I'm going to just pop a world card here. Makes it less time consuming to find our secret rooms. Not going to be destroying all of those. Um, I think destroying all of those mushrooms with the uh, Notch Knack seems like a bad idea. Did get a nickel there, but unfortunately lost it. Wait for him to get back over land before we kill him. He's a champion, so we get him more money. Lovely. Basically, as long as I'm getting like 30 cents a floor... I'm pretty happy. I can't remember what else our shop had in it. I think it was Squeezy. Let's go back and get Squeezy real quick. I know that I already gave up a tears up, but yeah, I'm going to go get it nonetheless. Um, we should be able to get enough money over the rest of the floor to buy whatever our boss item ends up being. Um, so yeah, we'll grab that. Loki's horns would also kind of be a fun one, actually, thinking about it now. Loki's horns would be a pretty fun one to grab. I'm kind of tempted by that. Do you know what? Let's go into this room back here. We've got plenty of time still. And just see if we can get enough to get it. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to get Loki's horns as well. Uh, actually, do you know what? No. I was going to take it and I was thinking that would be a great idea. But we have minus three luck, which means it's very unlikely to even occur. So it's not really that worthwhile to us, to be honest. I'm not going to bother. I was originally going to bother, but now I'm not going to bother. Nice. That was... Very, very good there. Got a lot of money from that room. Oh, no. This is the problem. I should not have done that. We just missed out on a dime because I'm, I'm stupid. Got our second secret room. Okay. Push you down here. And push you down here. Got some good stuff out of that. This is a very good haul here. Lots and lots of money um, and lots and lots of bombs. Having all these bombs is super nice for if we ever want to get rid of our notched axe. Which at the minute, I really don't. I'm, I'm very much liking the notched axe, but I'm sure at some point soon we'll, um, we'll not want to keep it. Right. Eyesaws and everything is doing a great, great job right now of, um, of keeping us going and attacking just everything in every direction. 
Also, we might get luck pennies. I'm not going to buy the range up. I mean, our range... Actually, no, do you know what? Do you know what? I am going to buy it because range with um, with Cricket's body is actually really, really valuable. So let's take it. Oh, up to now, I think we've definitely got a build that can do boss rush. I'm hoping we can get a planetarium this floor. Um, and I think this... We've, got, we've now got, I think, a 41% chance. Maybe a little higher than that. Um of getting a planetarium, so I'd very much like to think that we're going to get one this floor. I mean, it's not exactly guaranteed. Next floor is going to be a really, really high chance to get one, so hopefully we do. We're going to leave that coin there in case we have a desperate situation in which we need to, um, in which we need to grab a coin because we wasted one or whatever. Uh, let's pop in here real quick. Uh, triple buttons. I'm not even going to step on those. Too risky for me. Too rich for my blood. Also, I haven't been looking for secret rooms in my notch stacks. That is stupado. Oh my god, that guy's that guy's got a deep voice. His voice is deep. Uh, okay, this is. Oh, I just grabbed that coin by accident. I just said I'd leave that. What am I doing? Stupid me. Stupid, stupid me. Okay. Oh, I thought that was one I could leave. I need to. I need to recognize when it's ones that I can leave versus ones that I can't. Okay, be careful. We got hit there. We do also have a little bit of speed up as well, which is helping us grab these coins quickly. Which is always very, very nice. Uh, careful of the creep. We don't want to bother trying to get those over the top of creep. Nice one. We found this secret room. Ooh, nice extra 5% deal the devil chance. I'm not going to turn my nose up at that at all. Okay, grab that. When we've got a lot of money like this, we really don't have to rush for the money at all. If we get it, we get it. If we don't, we don't. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but I've got I've got to kind of remind it sounds stupid, but I've got to kind of remind myself of that fact and remind myself that like there's a coin doesn't mean we have to grab it. It's it feels like it feels like a sort of second nature to just always grab the coins, but when you've already got like over 50 coins, you really don't need to. You really don't need to. So I don't, I don't want to make a habit of going for coins that, that I really don't need to grab. Like that one. That's a single coin. I'd have to run quite far. It's going to waste time. We're trying to go reasonably fast here. We should make boss rush at this rate anyways. Okay. I was just about to say we'll probably get hit there, but we got lucky. Okay, we can grab those two. This is a room drop coin, so we can uh, leave that. Shop here has... Oh, I really wish. I really wish that Keeper couldn't show up in shops. I mean, honestly, I'm pretty happy about it, the fact that we just got Steam Sale, but it's just a little bit frustrating. Just a little bit frustrating that you can get um, something like that that means that you can't buy any items. And obviously, the shops are where we're getting most of our items from right now, so... A little bit upsetting. Oh, that doesn't work, unfortunately. So, no planetarium this floor by the looks of things. I mean, I've got to go back over here and just check to make sure there isn't a planetarium at the end of that hallway. Um, I feel like I, I'd be really annoyed if I got a planetarium and didn't go in it. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure there isn't one. I'm just going to get rid of some of these rocks here. I'm pretty sure there isn't one at the end of here. Um, okay. Keep going with these guys. Be very, very careful. Don't get hit again. Good, good. And we can actually mine through this wall over here. Yeah, so no planetarium for us this floor, unfortunately. So we're getting a bit unlucky. But at the same time, we're not missing out on too many items through not going to our thingy. Ooh, golden penny. <laughs> golden penny's good, but I'm, I'm only going to go to 99. Because there's no point going any further than that. There you go. Sorry, golden penny. You're cool, but there's no point going further with you. Good, good. Yeah, we just don't want to waste time. And at the minute, we are... We're on a bit of a time crunch. I think that we're that we're, that we're perfectly fine for time, to be honest. But I, I I'm always a little bit apprehensive of pissing about. Okay, so we don't need to grab money at all, apart from if we get hit. Money is completely secondary for us right now. So we got that we got that um, devil deal. Very nice. Half price on everything is insanely good. Um, the range here again, really good for Cricket's body. Feeling good about this run. I never thought about just how good Steam Sale would be on this guy. Um, yep, doesn't matter. So let's try and rush over to our... Um, rush over to our thingy if possible uh, shop. So one great thing right now is we, we don't really have to worry about money at all. I mean, we definitely need a little bit because we're, we're not quite at 99 anymore. 
Uh, I'd like to be as well. Okay, could you die, please? Holy shit, that was kind of difficult. Oh my god. These enemies are quite tough. Okay, we got uh, ourselves a, a Libere. Liberace. My goodness. Stop being so difficult. Golden pill. Pretty risky. Uh, I, I'm going to buy both of these just for the chance at Bookworm. But I'm still going to keep my Notched Axe. And I'm going to blow you up as well. But let's... Uh... Oh, we have to be careful about... Do you know what? I'm going to finish off my floor first before I start using... Oh, that was bad. Um, I'm going to finish off my floor first before I start... Oh, no. No, no, no. We might die in this room. We might die in this room. I just realized we've got an Are You A Wizard active right now. Okay, good, good, good. We're fine, we're fine. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna wait before using my golden pill because telepills could teleport us out of this floor. So I'm gonna wait until we finish the floor first, just to make sure we don't accidentally skip our platarium, boss room, deal with the devil chance, all that jazz. It's just too much of a big risk. Right. Definitely want some of these coins, but certainly not gonna risk my life for them. Say that while risking my life for them. Can I can I stop with these rooms, please? With these stupid eyeball grimaces? I hate them so much. Oh no, that bomb just blew away all the coins that I was gonna pick up. So here's our shop. I've not been looking for my secret room, but my priorities have been sort of on different things at the minute. Good, good. Right, so this is really good. This is really good. This is really good. This is really good. Lots of really good stuff there. Uh, the, the the six magnet increases our deal with the devil chance, as well as augmenting our deal with the devils and making them better. Like, you can get special deal with the devils. The deal with the devils now do have enemies in them, which is one thing uh, to think about. The, uh, they have, like, some, some enemies from Shoal in them, but they often give better rewards and better deals. And I'm, even though we have very low luck, I still think it's worth having the... Um, Hit this room with a passion. My goodness, that room is horrible. So we didn't get a planetarium this floor. I did go to my item room for some reason. I can't remember what was in there. Oh, I got teleported to it, didn't I? Doesn't matter, our chance is still locked in. Um, I don't think that does anything for us. Um, and we did get one of the special deals, but we unfortunately didn't get anything good. Bloody Lust is fine, but not very usable for us. Um, and then let's, uh... Full Tears up. Bad trip, really? Look down, bad trip. I need to stop getting bad trips. Okay. Really? We got another tiers down? Okay, golden pills are trash tier, and I hate them. We got two tiers down now. I mean, we did get one tiers up, so it's not all bad, but still, that's not great. Okay. Infestation 2 is helping out massively with that with that enemy. There's our planetarium, and we got speed up, you feel elusive. The speed up's very nice, but overall, that's not very good. Like, the speed up is be definitely the best thing about this. The other thing that this does is le it lets us leave rooms whenever we want to. So any any door, we can just pass back through it. Or if we don't like a room, we can skip it, essentially. Got our shop here. How'd you not die? Uh, right. Red stew is great. Um, honestly, let's just take, like, all of these. Why the hell not? Oh my god. Okay, golden pill's finally gone. I'm very happy about that because that thing kind of screwed us over. We lost a lot of stats from that thing. That was that was not the most productive use of a golden pill I've ever seen in my life. But we did seem to get some uh, some some big damage up from red stew there, so that's very nice. I say we seem to. We did. We straight up did. And again, we're missing out on a lot of money here, but we don't need a lot of money, so I'm okay with it. Hopefully, Red Stew can carry us a little bit. Red Stew, of course, gives you a massive damage up that slowly decays. Every kill that you get adds on to its timer. 
So we're currently we're currently at 17 minutes, so we can spend a little bit of time getting this golden penny, but honestly, the money's coming so easy that I'm not going to spend ages on it. Right. Keep on going. We unfortunately have gone every which wrong way so far, which is kind of frustrating. Not the best use of our time. Okay, when we when we launch a blue fire, things die. It's unfortunately a rare occurrence with minus four luck, but things do die. Right, we, we are very quickly running out of time here, so we, we've got to go. We only have a mere moment. Uh, I'm going to take that 100%. Bookworm as well is really good. Uh, nine lives is pretty good, but I don't want it. <laughs> I, I know that it could save us, but also if we don't get a HP up. We're going to regret it. Um, I I think we're going to go Dark Path here. Unfortunately, we did get a Void Paw, which I really don't want. It's right in the way. Um, I think I think we want this. Because it's going to make all of our tiers bunch up and allow us to do a lot more damage. And we're going to want to be popping, uh, popping Book of Shadows whenever we can, really. Yeah, nine lives there, super, super good. But if we don't get a health up early, it's really, really going to make things harder for us. And I, I'd just rather not. Yeah, I think right now we've got a very, very good build with Infestation 2 and everything else that's going on. Book of Shadows, of course, isn't going to help us a ton on every single fight. But it is going to be there for us when we need it. Got to remember as well that in this mode, bosses don't drop coins every single time. Only the things they summon drop coins. Okay, good. Yeah, things that they summon drop coins. What we really, really, really need is a golden penny to drop. Because if we can pick that golden penny up, then we can use that as a reusable healing source. Very good in any long boss fight that we end up getting. But as you can see, Tractor Beam here increased our fire rate a lot, but it also just made it so that we can absolutely boss enemies because all of our quad shots are always hitting. Um, makes it very, very good. We're doing insane damage. And also, all of the split shots are also hitting. It's it's kind of insane the amount of DPS this is outputting. You can you can see it just clear as day. It's, it's insane. Don't try and fool me. Sadly, using uh, Book of Shadows again and again doesn't stack the effect. But at, at the minute, as you can see, we're, we're killing enemies quicker than... Um, quicker than our Book of Shadows is running out, really. So we should be fine. And there you go, we did it. And we got Cornhead as well, which I'm very happy about. That's going to block, have a chance to block damage. Obviously, unfortunately, we uh, we didn't get to grab nine lives and come back around, but I think that's okay. Uh, we want to be heading this way. Not much more things to buy on these floors, unfortunately. Uh, we will get some stuff on the Hush uh, fight, which is nice. It's just, I think, I think the Hush fight is very possibly where we die. Book of Shadows is great, but it doesn't... It doesn't help us the whole uh, the whole time. How do we have so few bombs? What happened? <laughs> I don't really don't get how we have so few bombs here. Well, like, we're going to be killing him real fast, but we need we need something that's going to allow us to charge our book of shadows more, like a four point five volt or something. Don't know why I didn't go into that second secret room there. We are well on our way to making it in time. Yeah, it just it would have been so nice to grab nine lives, but. Can't do that, unfortunately. Uh, it doesn't do anything for us anyways, actually. Golden battery uh, appears randomly around the floor. Can be reused, but it hurts you each time you grab it after the first time. Pretty interesting stuff, really, but uh, not what we want right now. Nine lives is there again. <laughs> um, oh, God, it's so tempting to take it. Because if we get a HP up, it's going to be so good. Be careful in here. It's so tempting to take it, and I really, really don't know if I should or shouldn't. It's going to kind of ruin us and basically mean we can never heal, but it is going to give us nine attempts. I think we still say no. I know it seems bizarre, but not being able to heal is is really bad, and I guarantee we get a health up this floor that makes it so that it would have been great to get, but... 
now that we now that we don't have it, we will get a we will get a HP up. But if we did get it, we wouldn't get one. I, I just guarantee it. Like I just this game this game works against you. And without a HP up right there in my face, I just can't take the risk. You watch, that's going to be nine lives again. No, it isn't. It isn't, actually. Surprisingly so. Keep going. I'm loving the speed that we've got as well. Remember as well, if there's any rooms that we really hate, we can just, like, walk through them. <laughs> we can just, like, pass straight through them, literally. Oh my god, the damage though. The damage is so good. We basically just need to get to the phase of Hush where we start spawning things. The only thing I'm really worried about is the continuum shot phase. That phase is always difficult. And when I'm trying to grab coins at the same time, I reckon it's going to be real tough to stay alive. Um, I wish I could overcharge my Book of Shadows here. That'd be fantastic. But sadly, we cannot right now. Okay, this is a hard room. Stay chill. Sadly, with Tractor Beam, it kind of makes this room a little harder because we can't angle our shots. The good thing as well is we have this insane army coming along. Uh, crane game with Tech Point 5 is very worthwhile. I know that we're, we're losing um, rapidly our damage from Red Stew here, but I think Tech 5 will completely make up for that. If only it would grab the fucking thing. Come on! There we go. What do we get next? D10, don't care. Tech Point 5 is good enough for me. Just take it and leave. Take it and be on our way. I just, I love this army we're amassing. It's great. Oh, that was very, very stupid. But I did get a luck penny out of it. I walked into the creep there. Very stupid idea by me. Sadly, nothing there for us. And there's a, there's a situation where we could have got a health up there as well. She's even more annoying. So, got to deal with the devil. Remember, there's going to be enemies in here. Um, this is flight. I'm very happy with flight. And let's go do hush. Bit scared about this. This this could go so well or so bad. I think our damage should hopefully help a lot. Um, I think Euphoria is better in this situation. Punching bag could just be a real big problem for us. Um, Rainbow Baby is also good. We got Conjoined 2, which is fantastic for us. Double Charge, which is very nice and a card which is the hanged man doesn't matter okay that was that was really really good there pjs is just a bunch of flies oh, okay that's a damage up some good stuff here some really good stuff double charge on our book of shadows is really really good and um, conjoined is even better because with conjoined now we are doing even more damage because another two tiers are getting shot each time we fire all in that big bunch because of tractor beam so I think we want to try and save Book of Shadows for either when we get hit or when thing, like when we need to grab money. We don't just use it off the bat. We, we use it when we really need it. Because as you can see, we are absolutely pummeling this dude. Like, we are doing so much insane damage. Um, but yeah, I think we just um, we hold off as long as we can. Another great thing as well, um, unfortunately our luck is low. But whenever we fire blue fires, they do destroy shots. Which is fantastic. I'm pretty sure our tech laser or rainbow baby or something here is um, is actually creating um, Cricket's body shots, which is surprising. So that's our first continuum shot survival. Essentially, if I get hit on this phase, I just I pop Book of Shadows. Infor he unfortunately hasn't spawned anything yet, which is strange. Could you, could you not, sir? Okay, we pop Brook of Shadows. There we go. Wait, what? Where's my pennies? There we go. We got one. Okay, that was remarkably easy. Absurdly easy. Um, and then we're going Dark Path right. We go down. Yeah, that was, that was uh, remarkably easy. Uh, we have an insane build where we just have absurd damage. Also, not that we needed it, but having the double charge on Book of Shadows here was very valuable. Because as you saw, not all of the enemies he spawns drop things, which I didn't actually know before going into the fight. I thought every enemy he spawned would be dropping coins. Not the case. So it gave us that, that very, very nice buffer 
which I really don't think without Book of Shadows, I really don't think we would have had that. Uh, we would have had that time to get that. But I, I can't believe we got Conjoined. Conjoined plus Tractor Beam is such a classic combo. Sadly, though, gonna, we're not going to be getting any more items, really, apart from once we get to um, once we get to the chest. Can you open your face hole, please? Thank you. So we really don't need to collect much more money at all. We managed to double charge our active again here because we do have the battery now, so we can constantly double charge it. And again, that's going to be really good for our bosses. And we're essentially always going to do what I just did with that hush fight, where we save it for if we need it. Like, we don't, we don't just use it. Right, 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 right. We don't just use it. We we wait until we get hit, then we use it. I, I should have used it in that room there. I was very, very tempted. But I was like, it could be right next to the boss, though, and I'd rather have my double charges ready for the boss. And indeed, we were. Right. So, still. Three, two, one. Always do that. It makes that bit so much easier. Right. First phase done. Second phase is a little bit harder depending on where he stomps, but shouldn't be too bad for us at all. Yeah, I'm going to say our damage is absurd. And this is why I love this character. Like, holy hell, he's so fun. <laughs> you can just make the most broken runs with this guy. Right. Let's see what we get in our deal with the devils. Uh, Pegatory. Meh. Eye of Belial's really good. We'll take that. Gives us piercing. Gives us range. It gives us a lot of good stuff. Uh, and obviously, we're just we're just going for... Um, actually, Eye of Belial's fucking sick. Really, really good. Um, we're just going for thingy now. Um... The lamb, so we really don't need to worry too much here. Just remember, if things get tough, if we get hit, instantly pop a book of shadows. Uh, there is not many iframes that we get here, so we want to be popping it as soon as we can. Um, also, one thing to think about and one thing to be prepared of is we can just walk through any old room we want. Like if we like that, no, I'm not doing that room. <laughs> do you know what? I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that room either. If I don't want to do a room, just leave it. Okay, so let's just pop this now. And get a penny there. There you go. I don't know if there's any more brimstone ghosts about, but I'm going to hope not. I hate this enemy so much. I find him so difficult. Just die. Why are you charmed? Why are you dead? Okay, this guy's easy. Almost got hit by him, though. Regret saying he's easy. <laughs> Instant regret. This is a room that we can just walk through and walk through and walk through. This is so good. Yeah, we just... If we see a room that's just not the right way, we just stop. <laughs> we just don't have to do it. What up, fella? You've been deaded. Didn't very much like that room, but he gave us a bunch of spiders, so I'm happy with it. One thing I would like to have is a big old spider army for when we fight our boss. Think I got you? Everything dead? Yep. Okay, so we have two charges. We're good to go on this. We won't get any health in this fight, so I actually think we just pop it and get the most damage possible on him. Rather than, um, rather than trying to wait, because we're not going to get any coins in this fight. There you go. We did it. Keeper's bargain. There you go. What a fantastic run. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Fucking amazing. I love that character so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one.